So guys, welcome back once again to Bennyweiss TV. If you have not subscribed, the important thing is you need to subscribe to the channel. After subscribing, make sure you turn the notification bell on for you not to miss any updated video that we will upload. Guys, today I'm coming your way with another interesting episode and hey, this episode is a must watch video, guys. Make sure that you watch the video till the end. I have my friend here, she wants to tell you something. She loves taking Metro. Uh, we need to tell my friend, why are you taking Metro without taking a taxi? You love taking Metro? Yes, that's huh? right. <laughs> yeah, I think it's much easier. It's much easier? <laughs> guys, you see her, she loves taking the metro so today we are heading towards to dubai expo site expo 2020 that is the biggest event which has been held on this planet and uh, if you have not visited there make sure that you get your ticket and visit the site if your country is participating make sure you get a ticket and visit your pavilion so we are heading towards to the expo site Watch the video to the end as i come your way with another the next station العالم كله مرحبا بكم في الامارات العربيه المتحده نفتتح على بركه الله اكسبو 2020 دبي والله ولي التوفيق Yes guys welcome back once again to Danny Wise TV uh, if you have not subscribed to this channel, make sure that you subscribe to this channel. This is a channel that we are promoting uh, Africans in the diaspora, what they are doing uh, outside our continent for people to also get in contact with them and patronize their product. Guys, there is an event ongoing and this is the biggest event which has been held on this planet, uh, the Expo 2020 Dubai. I upload videos recently regarding Ghana's pavilion and today we have the general commissioner for the Ghana's pavilion. We are coming to have a conversation with him on the economic impact of this uh, Expo 2020 on Ghana's economy. And also we will get in more details what Ghana has to offer the world. What are they showcasing in this uh, event? So if you are watching us, make sure that you watch this video till the end. So guys, the honorable member here with me is called Honorable Kinsley Carlos Ahinkra. He is part of the new ruling government of Ghana, that is the new patriotic party, and he's a member of parliament for Tema West and former deputy minister for trade and industry. He's a product from Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology and that of the Maritime University. And as far as Expo 2020 is concerned, he's the general commissioner uh, for Ghana's pavilion. So guys, he's not any ordinary man or any ordinary person, but the main general commissioner of Expo 2020 Ghana's pavilion. We are going to have a conversation with him to know the impact or the economic impact uh, that this event will bring to our Ghana's economy. So make sure that you watch the video to the end. I'll give the platform to him for him to introduce himself to my viewers, who he is and what Expo 2020 is all about. Honorable, welcome to my channel. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm really glad you I'm give happy. us the time to yes, have I'm a one-on-one -on -one conversation with you.
that anybody that comes to Ghana to invest uh, would certainly maximize uh, whatever profits the or margins they intend to um, maximize. Mm -hmm. Now, as a, a, a country, we have arranged in such a way that uh, this six months we're going to see six different uh, ministries coming uh, once every, one, one of them every each month to showcase what they have in, the, in their ministry or to showcase what government is going to or intends to do or develop in that particular uh, department. We have the water and sanitation for this month. This month we have lands and natural resources. And um, later on we have agriculture, then uh, we have um, tourism, we have education, and of course we have energy. Now all these ministries are going to come in each month uh, with their businessmen in that sector, with uh, um, their policies in that sector to display for the um, uh, world to know what uh, we are doing. In fact, um, as far as we are concerned, we cannot hide what the present uh, government, which is President Kufuadu, has done for Ghana. Sure, we thanks. need to make the world know that we have come this far due to the visionary leadership of the president. So within each one, we also have thematic forum for various other agencies and departments. Like for example, the Ministry of Trade and Industry within uh, November is supposed to come and speak at a forum on one district, one country. Uh, we are arranging for them to have another forum to speak on uh, strategic anchor industries. Uh, GIPC uh, is handling the arrangement of all this uh, for us. Uh, we have our agencies such as Free Zones, Ghana Export Promotion Authority, and even the SM Bank all being represented in this pavilion and of course engaging in this uh, uh, event. So by and large, uh, we request every Ghanaian uh, out there to make it, uh, uh, I would say, a travel plan and come to Dubai and see what we have. Then those investors out there who want to have some more information about the areas they intend to invest in in Ghana, we also ask you to come to the pavilion and you have experts there to speak to, to explain to you what you need to know or what you need to do to get yourself within the confines of the Ghanaian uh, investment platform. Let me take this opportunity to also invite people who have, want, want, who have, who have wanted to be here but couldn't make it because they could not uh, hop onto the platform. Uh, we cannot do the same thing for six months. So we are of the opinion that as we go along, we have the opportunity to add and, 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 and subtract. So if you have anything that you intend to show, would you think would uh, bring us some kind of uh, uh, advantages as far as the country is concerned? The uh, planning committee or the commission general will have a look at it and um, decide. Um, why am I saying this? It is in our interest to drive traffic into our pavilion. Uh, we intend to uh, showcase uh, actions and activities which will make people want to come to the Ghana Pavilion. Like for example, on the 14th of February, we are doing the National Chocolate Day here in the Pavilion. And uh, we believe that um, if we have other uh, sub-events put onto this particular uh, uh, thing, is going to work out perfectly well and in order to the benefit of the country. We also intend at a point to even hold a fashion show for people to see the kind of fashion that we have in Ghana and how we intend to display it to the outside world. Uh, I'm sure that in this case we might need uh, the fashion industry or the garment industry to come out with what they can provide or what they produce in Ghana. 
for her to show out to food. So this is an invitation to anybody that is interested uh, in, uh, in seeing what we have here to come and see and make up your mind either to invest in Ghana or to go somewhere else. And I believe when you know or when you see what we have in there, you would want to invest in Ghana. Wow, that is really amazing. Based on the ministries uh, coming, that if you are watching us today, uh, as I said, he is a member of parliament for uh, Tema West, Honorable Kingsley Carlos Ahinkra. So if you are watching us today, guys, he is an honorable member for Tema West. And we are inviting the public, uh, especially Ghanaians and other nationalities, to come and visit Ghana Pavilion because we have a lot to showcase to the world. Honorable, coming to this, uh, based on this event, uh, will it have any economic impact on, on our economy? Oh, sure, 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 sure. I mean, the, the, the mainstay or the whole objective of this exercise is to improve the economic development of Ghana. We want to, as it were, sell Ghana out to uh, the people who are here to identify where they should send their investments to. So that these people would come in with this investment of particularly that goes to increase our GDP for the growth of our economy to be enhanced. So therefore, anybody who is here within this enclave is here for one reason, one reason only, to improve the economic situation in their country. And uh, we have the opinion that before we leave here within the six months, we intend to, uh, as it were, capture some of the investments that are going to roll out within the set confines for some to come to Ghana. Yes. Honorable, uh, based on the statement that you made that there will be some ministries from Ghana who will be coming time to time to showcase what Ghana has. Uh, somebody will ask, is there any prominent figure uh, of those industries who will be visiting here? Because most of the uh, leaders in Ghana can even drive traffic to the pavilion. Is there any fig uh, prominent figures also visiting the pavilion? Well, for information, all the ministers within the six ministries are supposed to be here. As I speak to you, the water and sanitation minister is coming within next week. I think she should be here by next week. And, uh, she will be here for about one week to see what we have in the pavilion, how activities there are going. Then she will do a little bit of uh, investment tour and have some kind of uh, forum to speak to, forum of uh, investors to speak to. And the same thing applies to all the ministers that are going to come for the next uh, six months or so. So uh, to answer your question, the ministers themselves have agreed that they will come for this place. Wow, that is amazing. Guys, so based on the ministries coming, uh, we believe that within this six months, we are going to see all the ministers in those ministries also physically present to have a forum to educate us and to showcase what Ghana have. Uh, but honorable, somebody watching us will say that, okay, uh, globally, what are we showcasing to the world? because uh, we have been talking about investment, investment. What really are we showcasing to the world for them to come to Ghana and invest? Yes, okay, so when you go inside the pavilion, you would see that we have two sides of displays. The first display on your left side will showcase manufacturing and uh, industry, oh. where we have the mining industry, we have the financial sector uh, industry, we have the uh, health industry, and, and all these uh, industries that we have discussed already. And these industries, of course, have something to show for whatever uh, they are here for. We all know what is going on in Ghana in terms of our health delivery system. As we speak today, uh, within the confines of uh, Africa, West Africa, sub, as a, south of the Sahara, Ghana is one of the only countries that indulges in uh, national health insurance. Um, you remember uh, not too long ago the president 
um, cut the sword for the 111 mystery yeah. hospital One. that we are building across, uh, and so on and so forth. Um, very soon, um, from the presidential uh, committee on uh, production of vaccines, we're going to identify companies in Ghana who manufacture or produce our own vaccine wow. and for us to you know, not go out there to buy but have it there locally made in Ghana. So these are the kind of things that we're here to showcase to the people. I mean cocoa for example, if you go to agriculture, we speak about cocoa, what is cocoa like? How do you uh, start, uh, how do you even get the chocolate at the end of the uh, operation? Where does it start from? The farm, cocoa pod, the cocoa beans within it, how it's fermented into the production uh, line and what comes out as chocolate. All this is something that we need to tell people, for people to see where they want to fuse or, or plug into with their investment. So uh, virtually, yes, each and every ministry that we are bringing on board has a story to tell uh, regards to the development that President Akufuado has ensured within that ministry and of course the direction that they are going in terms of improving what we have done now and where we want to be uh, beyond aid. Wow, that is amazing. Uh, Honorable, you made mention of our uh, first gentleman of the land, His Excellency Nanado Dankwa Ekufuado. And uh, based on, on the project that he is doing, based on his achievement, bringing some uh, manufacturing companies, assembling plant, uh, if you look at that, with the help of other noble members like you in his team or in his government, do Ghana, in the future, planning to hold such event uh, like this? Um, you look at the investment that you see here. If you look at the funds that this country has sunk into this project, um, I call it the big boys project. <laughs> the big boys project you do not you know get to this level by accident mm -hmm. the development that has gone on in this district and this uh, south district of Dubai in this place for me if you ask me I would say that it's not just anybody at all that can do it and if you trace the history but let's even trace it back the world is pushed back just two terms back in 2010 it was done in shanghai uh, which was also massive and in 2016 2015 it was done in italy in milan which was also good but this what you see here is a whole city built from the scratch i understand though from the organizers that's when Expo is done after March. This is going to be a new city called the Rose City, which will be used for something else in terms of innovation and creativity. Now, let's it come straight to your question. It is not easy for Ghana to do something like this at this moment in our lifetime. Maybe in the future, when we are going to that stage where we have the financial muscle and of course the uh, uh, knowledge to move into this kind of exercise. Who would do it? Why? At our level, we do what we have to do. If you want, uh, if I don't know how old you are, but for us to organize UNCTAD meetings, Pan-African meetings, and so on and so forth, it means that we have that strength to indulge in organization of things like this wow. but our infrastructure our facilities and so on will not support a massive hosting of this event if we should do something like this in ghana and we need uh, a place hotel one hotel for even two thousand people to to launch if we're not careful we might not find a single hotel with that kind of capacity yeah, and so on and so forth. So, yes, we can do, but no, we are not there yet. When it comes to the knowledge, I'll say that yes, we have over and above. When it comes to the ability, I say, akakakra. <laughs>
when it comes to the abilities akakakra <laughs> so guys as i told you you are watching the wise tv and this we are at the opportunity district under dubai expo 2020 ghana pavilion and uh, we have our nobleman here he is one of the best member of parliament we have in ghana and he is called honorable kinsley uh, carlos ahenkra as i mentioned earlier uh, if you don't know him today he's live with us so guys we are talking about the ghana pavilion and what ghana uh, has to showcase or has to offer the world and for people who are investors if you're watching us and if you want to invest in ghana then you are welcome if you move to our pavilion you can see a very welcome notice that is a in our language in aquaba means welcome so you are welcome to invest in ghana uh, i want to ask this question what are the a main trade top uh, commodities that we are showcasing here? Um, Expos are not about commodities. Mm. Expos are not trade fairs. Trade fair. so where trade fair, you would see people bringing Picasso's, wheelbarrows, cutlasses, and so on to come and display. That's a trade fair. Mm. But Expo is the general development of the country and the direction the country, the country. is moving and um, like I said if you go to the UK pavilion which is opposite the Ghana pavilion it says the same thing that's the same thing as we are doing here you move from one stage of the history of UK and it takes you all the way through up to where they are today if you intend to invest in any of the things that they will mention to you there because it's a book or somebody there to speak to you and take your details. They will give you the appropriate person who will down now discuss with you. So we are not showcasing commodity mm. per se. Okay. But we are telling people what Ghana is, who Ghana is, and where Ghana is. Wow. What Ghana is, who Ghana is, and, and where, where Ghana is. Yes. Wow. So guys, if you want to know where Ghana is, then you need to visit uh, Ghana Pavilion at the Opportunity District, Dubai Expo 2020. If you are dreaming to visit the United Arab Emirates within this six months, uh, from October to next year, March 31st, which will be the end of the Expo 2020 event, make it a point that you visit Ghana Pavilion and uh, know what we also have to offer the world. Uh, that is, no, we have investors watching us today what are your words to the investors watching us and most importantly our African brothers and sisters who are also in the diaspora what are your words for them what I would say it's a Ghana is open for business we are ready with our intent and purposes to admit you to our country and make you comfortable the president or the government of today have created an enabling environment for every investor that intends to enter into Ghana to fill our home and make his money work for him. Wow. Ghana has always been seen as the gateway to West Africa. If you look at the peace that we enjoy in Ghana, if you look at the economic growth that we have enjoyed in the world, if you look at the enabling environment that we have created for industries to thrive, I would say that there's nowhere else in this world, especially in Africa, that you can plant your money than in Ghana. Wow. The Ministry of Trade is there to support you uh, in terms of whatever um, you want to, to invest in. The Ghana Investment Promotion Centre will guide you as to which investments uh, you can actually even maximize revenues in or how to guide you in your particular investment you intend to bring to Ghana. The Ghana Free Zones Authority is there to assist you with uh, all the benefits that you enjoy when you enter into the Free Zones program. The Ghana Export Promotion Authority is there to assist you market your produce after production outside the shores of Ghana. So we have put all these together and we think that the best place for you to invest is Ghana. When you invest in Ghana, you have a 100% retention of your profit there's nobody that's going to harass you once you pay your taxes and, and live uh, a, a, a life of somebody who abides by the law. 
even in some of these programs you have incentives such as tax-free holidays in the one wow. industry one factory program in the free zones uh, program and so on so i ask investors to start thinking if you have not already thought of coming to ghana to bring your money and plant in ghana and see the dividends wow so investors watching us today come to ghana plant your money and see the end at the end of the day that it being the general commission for this pavilion i would love to talk around with you if it is possible to know what is inside our pavilion and uh, for my viewers also out there to get to know what exactly is inside for them to also uh, tell other people outside okay come let's go so guys i have my passport to invest in ghana now what are you waiting for join me and let's go and invest So guys, this is the Ghana Pavilion. <laughs> no problem, you are Ghana's Pavilion. I believe that you are happy to be here. Yeah, very happy. Are you a Ghanaian? Of course. But I can see your food. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. I see you. Okay. You live here in this country? No. You came I just for the... came for the expo. Oh, I see. Okay, you came for the expo. Yeah. You are welcome. Thank you. Yes, of course. Hi, then. Okay. Also, a Ghanaian? Yeah. Oh. So guys, we will give the platform to Honorable uh, to I mean, tell us what is inside our pavilion. So Honorable, the platform is yours now. Take us around the pavilion for us to know what is inside our Ghana's pavilion. Okay, so when you enter our pavilion, the first thing we tell you is welcome. Ghana is a beautiful place. The idea or the story of this pavilion commences three in the Now we all know that in 1957, uh, or prior 1957, uh, Ghanaians fought for independence. And uh, by 57, we got our independence. Uh, in 1961, we became a republic. We became a republic, and that's where our economic and uh, I'd say emancipation started. Where we started industrializing, the first place we Ghana started industrialization, uh, which continued up to 1965, where we built the first dam in Ghana. We supplied uh, more than the electricity that Ghanaians required at that time. We even got uh, an aluminum smelter uh, because of this uh, dam uh, in our industrialization, industrialization right? for um, people outside to see uh, the need to also come to Ghana and invest as we are doing today with the enabling environment that the government has created. In 1987, we began massive uh, structure of our educational system, where we commence the junior secondary and the senior secondary system in children. So we have been for the fourth century for the fourth for the school system. In 1992, we started or commenced our fourth republic, where before we got that the constitution was uh, enacted. And that has you know, been with us from that time to the age. But we are looking today as we speak, a Ghana which is beyond aid, a Ghana which is not going to rely on anybody for freebies, a Ghana that's not going to... That is where my interest is. Yes, a Ghana that is going to be on its own, a Ghana that is going to on its feet and see to itself that enough is enough. Instead of giving us freebies, we want technology to improve our lot and grow our economy. And by 2013, by the vision of the current president, we should get to that point where we get the Ghana. Now, now the, the popular storyline anybody talks about in Ghana will be the republic system. 
So for people who don't know, uh, we tell them a little bit about our Anansi story and what Anansi represents. When Anansi decided to get all the wisdom in this world uh, for himself, climb the tree and uh, good, fair for wherever he climbed the field and fell on the ground and now wisdom spread to the world and that's how wisdom came to mean, We like to entreat Mr. Sol, uh, look out for them, for them to understand what Ghana has said. And then if you look on my left side, we have uh, the Ghana Investment Promotion Authority, which is uh, open its arms to all investors that we have to come to Ghana to bring the investments and go to fund Indeed, this area, if you look at the right side of the, the grass symbols that we have in Ghana, which are typical of our country. Uh, we tend to you know, change in these uh, uh, materials that we go along in the six months that we apply just to uh, ensure that the ministries or the other agencies that will be will have some effect in terms of merchandise. Now, the whole concept of this pavilion was first and foremost a work entering into a palace. Before you get into the palace, you will see uh, the authority of that palace, which is included in this room. Of course, the chief or the king and his uh, elders, the astute. So this is the authority of the country, or how the country intends to show me its power when you enter our community. And we are culturally representing that. But the idea behind this uh, pavilion is uh, um, thinking of Ghana beyond aid. And in thinking of Ghana beyond aid, we want to say that we are we financially sound and financially uh, 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 okay to handle our own affairs. Wow. And so we're talking finances, which in the future. Uh, would be Ghana's uh, uh, idea of uh, um, sustaining itself. So we talked about the New York Stock Exchange. The New York Stock Exchange, uh, we intend to let people of this uh, world know about Ghana. Talking about the finances of Ghana, the financial, uh, the, banking, the finance and banking sector, and so on and so forth. Now, we have two displays. And the left display, actually represents manufacturing and industry. Manufacturing and industry. Yes, where you have um, the mining industry, you have the agriculture industry, the banking and finance, trade and investment, we have textiles and garments, and so on and so forth, health, and so on and so forth. So in each of these places, when you enter, uh, it tells you a story about what is there. And indeed, if you even want to hear more, when you put this listening device on your ear, you hear what this uh, TV um, um, audio is all about. If you tell me, we have culture and, um, and tourism here. Yeah. It's fashion, the typical Ghanaian uh, fashion that we have, the cloth, and of course the, the cloth bag and cloth shoe, matching bag and shoe, the beads that we have. Uh, the regions of Ghana and the kind of tourism uh, that you might find there, like a cocoon, uh, packet, so on. Uh, typical Ghanaian meal, uh, kinky, with fish, and so on. And then, of course, our music, the urban culture, where we have musicians who are very much popular in this world, the drink cheese, the machine of this world, the Shatawali is a stone boy in this world. Uh, and of course, um, <coughs> the local culture when it comes to our local uh, acoustics like Maracas, Dondo, and so on and so forth. So, this is how we have portrayed Ghana for anybody who wants here to know who Ghana is. Now, after you know that, you're stepping your first oh, yeah, that's what you do. And now we want to know what you meant from the Discussion that I've had. So you come here. If uh, uh, 
uh, you speak Arabic, you click Arabic, it's English, you click English, and they'll ask you a few questions, how much you know about Canada. So when you answer all the questions, then now your score would come here on this uh, uh, wow. knowledge board. So this is like a form of test your knowledge about Canada. Yes, and if you're able to score 100, we'll give you a present or a prize. Oh, wow, then, then I need to try this. Yeah, no, no, it's not. not <laughs> it's like, so then, in in all this, we did also we also didn't leave out our uh, small, uh, I'll say, uh, manufacturers or distributor producers. So you will see. The oh, no. So if you see what we have here, we have a small market uh, called Pigitia, which is also showcasing our. Uh, SMEs who are involved in um, production such as uh, shea butter, alata samina, coconut oil, and so on and so forth. All these are producing that. Yeah. All these are producing that. We cannot do all we are doing and leave SMEs out. Yes, we have the big boys there and the ministries there that the production and manufacturing, where the auto industry is considered and so on. We have the culture and tourism, but SME small medium scale enterprises are also represented in this side, where we have the uh, in Kutu, what do you call them? Share, share butter cream. Wow. Um, we have uh, some uh, we call travel pillows, and uh, we have some. Uh, there's a name for this one. It's called true, 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 true. So. All these you see here are by our SME. And what the one I like most for me is this tea. Um, if you ask me, I'll say that everybody should um, try this tea. This is Moringa and Hibiscus. He has different, different types. Uh, this uh, Hibiscus and Precocet tea. Wow. These are medicinal tea that are better than the ones that we put in our mm -hmm. hot water. Oh, hibiscus Moringa? Yes. Yes, guys, so this is a Hibiscus Moringa tea. Uh, if you visit Ghana Pavilion, these are the things that, organic things that you are going to get or you can purchase from there. This is made in Ghana by NutriHealth Foods and Beverages. So NutriHealth, if you are watching me today, after you need to send my true DHL. <laughs> This is a Habiscus Moringa. Guys, after I will get one for myself. So if you also visit Ghana Pavilion, make sure that you get one for yourself. Uh, basically, we are turning around to know what Ghana is showcasing to the world. And if you are visiting the Pavilion, uh, you plan to also purchase something for yourself. So if you check here, so we have our share better here and none of yeah. you will take us through. Good. So in, in this category, my favorite ones will be this Uzuri line which uh, has this uh, natural coconut oil. We have uh, castor oil. Uh, they have uh, shea butter. I don't know if people really know what shea butter shea has or the benefits yeah. that shea butter provides. But um, if you really want to know, just get a piece of it and use it for just one week. And you come and tell us what you think of shea butter. Baobab oil is also, and all these extracts are natural. They, they are gotten from the natural fruit, uh, not on, on mixed, on, on, on this blended straight from the fruit, and you get a natural oil coming out and stored first hand. So these are not mixed with anything or diluted. People, for example, when uh, you taste chocolate from Ghana, yeah. it's 90% cocoa and 10% addition. But if you take take it from anywhere else in the world, that it's ten percent cocoa and ninety percent other things. That is true. why, because the cocoa is expensive for them. We produce cocoa in our, our country, so we do not dilute our cocoa. This is the same thing that applies to this Zuri uh, line of uh, products, where we have proper pure shea butter cream, castor oil cream, baobab oil, and natural coconut oil. Wow. I would ask you to tell your people to try this and bring me the results later in the future. Guys, then you, you need to try. I will surely come and tell you. Guys, you need to try because uh, 
what honorable will tell you is the real fact this is organic product only this is uh, organically made and you need to get one for yourself yeah. and try so if you are visiting Ghana Pavilion, these are also things that you are going to get. So it is a time for you to visit. I can see here that uh, the Ghana made chocolate are here as well. So guys, if you are not from Africa or if you are not from Ghana, these are part of our uh, chocolate that we, we made from our country. This is a golden tree, uh, yeah. orange flavor milk chocolate. We have different, different flavors. Wow. So this is the orange. orange. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Wow. So oh. guys. Hmm. That is amazing. You so can guys, try one. You can try one. Honorable, let me try this one. No, try this one. <laughs> let me help you. Sure. See, guys, I'm really blessed, you know? My honorable member is helping me to try the Ghana chocolate. Wow. Wow. And yes, guys. So this is uh, one of our chocolate and this is the orange flavor one. If you come to Ghana Pavilion, you are going to get one for yourself. That one, I believe that if you meet honorable, you get it for free. Wow. This is pure African chocolate. This is made by our own cocoa. 95% 95% cocoa. That is the agriculture industry where I am heading towards to. Now I have my passport and I'm waiting to see the agriculture minister so you can take me if I want to invest in the agriculture industry so guys if you're watching me you can join me let's go back and invest in our country don't stay outside if you are in the diaspora and you don't want to move back this is the time for us to move back and invest in our country so honorable coming back to you as we are welcoming uh, investors to come into our country to invest I want to know your final words to investors and uh, the advice you will give it to Africans in the diaspora because we have people, we have our own brothers and sisters who are not even dreaming to go back to. Uh, what are your advice to, to those people? Well, as, as I've said already, Ghana is open for us. And we are very much ready to accept any investment at all into our country, provided that it's legitimate and it falls within the confines of the rules of engagement. Ghana would always be the leader in uh, Africa or West Africa and for that matter. And um, if you consider, like I said already, the peace we enjoy, if you consider the economic growth we've seen over the past, uh, let's say, five, six years, if you consider the, um, let me say, the sanitization, of course, uh, of the dollar CD exchange rate, which of course obviously has enjoyed some of the lower percentage depreciations over time. Uh, it tells you that Ghana, uh, if you in involve yourself or if you enter Ghana to invest, you will not be found wanting. Wow. And so I put this challenge across the world and I ask people to consider the honest point of investment. To be done. We have so many uh, opportunities, we have so many programs that you can involve in the one district, one country, the free road concept, the GIPC concept, and any which one that you want to uh, engage in. Ghana is prepared to offer you the uh, chance to also grow your business uh, in, our, in our country and especially relying on the 100% retention profit of profit. Uh, you are not going to uh, fail. Uh, again, you also have access to the most uh, experienced uh, people in the industry to assist you in regards to exports, uh, to assist you in regards to uh, channels of, uh, of uh, assessing finance and so on and so forth. So, I challenge anybody out there that intends to invest in Africa especially to try Ghana first. If you were trying to invest in the African continent, then Ghana is the right place for you to invest. We are appealing and we urge everyone who wants to invest in any sector, be it the mining sector, health sector or the agri sector, you need to visit Ghana and invest. 
guys today we tour around with our honorable member he is a member of parliament for Tema West and he was the former deputy minister for trade and industry and he tends to be the uh, commissioner general of uh, this pavilion as well as Expo 2020 as you if you are now coming to or if you are now visiting Dubai hey make sure that you visit Ghana Pavilion. Let our culture interact with our, our people here and get some of our organic product. This is organically made, 95% cocoa. We have our shea butter here, we have our other things as well, and we have our organic tea also there. You can also purchase any item that you as you heard, honorable all items are for sale and you can purchase any item that you want. So guys, thank you for watching the Noise TV and if you have not subscribed, the only thing we will tell you is to subscribe. If you want to get updated information about Dubai Expo 2020, the largest event which has been held on this planet, then you need to subscribe to the channel. And if you're also dreaming to visit abroad, if you want to do some importation business and other businesses that you want to get help from, this is the right channel for you, so make sure that you subscribe. After subscribing, the important thing is you should turn on the notification bell. If you turn on the notification bell, once we upload any video, you'll be notified for you to uh, watch that video. So guys, thank you. See you in our next video.